Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Ideal Industries, model number 61-342, True RMS Multimeter. This multimeter was released to the public January of 2008. Uh, it has yet, it has since been discontinued. Uh, this multimeter here, what can I say about it? It's a force to be reckoned with. I Let's look at some of the features before I continue talking about it and give you my opinion about this multimeter. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit closer to let you guys take a look at some of the, the features. Okay. Uh, you know, volts, AC, volts, DC, continuity, resistance, diode and capacitance. Hertz, duty cycle, temperature, uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius, microamps, uh, have uh, milliamps, AC-DC on both of those uh, measurements, uh, AC-DC amps, and you also have another off button uh, selection on the other end, clockwise and counterclockwise at the beginning. The soft keys, select button, that's when you're toggling through the whatever selection you want to get to. You have a range button, hertz, duty cycle, min max, and relative. You also have a hold button as well as the backlight. The backlight and the screen itself is very bright. It looks uh, as, as bright as, as you see on the camera. That's how bright bright it is in person. Uh, extra large uh, digits, numeric font, and lettering. This multimeter is very accurate. If I had to put this up against the flute, 115 and 117, which are both meters I do love, but I don't own or have used before. This multimeter will hold its own. It will hold its own. I mean, I will put it pound for pound. This multimeter will hold its own. With that being said, it doesn't. It won't be break the bank either. If you so, if you were to find this multimeter on uh, find this multimeter online or somewhere and you got it for excuse me you got it for a nice cheap price i would not and it's in good condition i would not hesitate to buy it uh that's just my opinion this multimeter has hasn't given me any kind of issues whatsoever none uh it's not as big as uh like a flute 87 uh five or anything like that it's a medium-sized meter not small or about the same size as the same size as the flute 115 or flute 117 uh, the test leads are, are great also. It's not uh, cheap. It's not, they're not uh, high, well, I want to say high quality like a, a Pro Master or something like that. As far as flexibility is concerned, but they are nice. So, but this multimeter, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it whatsoever. On the back, you have a port for when you're not using your test leads, you have a place to store them. It takes well, one nine volt battery to power this meter up. Um, I just don't have anything bad to say about it at all. So um, that's my opinion about this meter, and uh, it seemed like uh, that may be the end of the video. But let me ask you this: I mean, let me ask you this. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by hitting the like button, hit that subscribe button, uh, leave a leave, leave a, a comment, or share it. I would probably prefer you do all of them, but uh, I just want you to uh, let you know that we welcome you to the channel. So. Uh, thanks again. Thanks again for allowing me to take up your time. And with that being said, uh, you guys take care out there and meet me here uh, while we shoot the next video review. Okay. Thank you and take care. Later.